It's me! Hi! Welcome to my birthday vlog! Let's get started! So for the pre-celebration, I headed to the Bulgari Spa for a nice, you know, relaxing beauty day to get me ready for this birthday celebration. If I'm going to the spa, which way is yes. that? Straight ahead. It's on B5 level. B5. Okay, thank you. You know when you go you know when you go to a hotel or someone else's house and you use their shower and you just struggle to make it work? Well, that happened to me. But in this spa, the shower had like five buttons or something. And I just couldn't turn it off for like minutes. <laughs> I just had to run out and call someone because it just wasn't happening for me. <laughs> so for this visit, I did the CBD treatment. And the cool thing is that they let you keep the products afterwards. After the treatment, they even surprised me with cake. How cute! <laughs> Thank you, this is so nice. You're welcome. Oh, look at that. There you go. When you're ready. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so the next day, my actual birthday, we headed to Bob Bob Rickard in Soho for a nice small intimate dinner. I only really wanted two to three people there. So it was just my brother and my friend Fatima. And I also wore my second dress from my 21st birthday because I feel like it didn't get a lot of love. So yeah. Okay, so we you So I was thinking you'd want to sit there. Yeah, obviously. Hi guys. <laughs> you guys are both blonde too. Yeah. Oh yeah, it, it, it was purple. And this is a special button. Castro champagne. Okay. Oh my god, they're cold, so let's take it instantly. Okay. One, two, three. Oh wow, that was actually... I really like that. No, I didn't... Yeah, I didn't feel that. You felt that? Are you okay? You didn't feel that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like so for starters, we had two kinds of oysters as well as a salmon tartare. Just for my vlog. Cute. This is so cute, Timbo. Maybe you can even take like a standing one so I can make a reel. Oh wait. It's like solo toilet. The toilets are so cute. Yeah, so nice. Uh, okay, so for full disclosure, when we went down to pee, I was like, oh my god, like, this is actually a nice place to film. And, you know, I did have a couple of birthday greetings that I needed to film for people. So then I was like, okay, let's capitalize on the whole look and the place. So then I just filmed those there. <laughs> Hi, Hazel. It's me, Miss M. Happy birthday! Oh, guys, are you ready? Wait, wait, wait. I just got 
simp. Me too, I got a simp. Okay. Cheers. Okay, One. Again, for my beauty. <laughs> no, not, not that we need that anymore. How about for money? For money. Yeah. Okay. May we all get millions this year. Yeah. Fatima gets octopus. Yeah. Why does it feel stronger? I feel like they give us more in quantity. I swear it was less. <laughs> My life. Girl, we had four. This is our fourth one. Wait, this is our yeah, this is our fourth getting one. to my head. Are you sure? <laughs> yes. Yeah. This is for Fatima's brain. Because she clearly brain. needs it. Fatima definitely needs it. Wait, why is yours empty? Yeah. Oh? This is yours. No. <laughs> oh shit. This, this is for my go. brain. <laughs> Gasoline. What do you mean? I like it. I really like it. Gasoline. Looking back while freezing. We are so drunky in this house. How you brother? I'm good. Fun for night. Yes. Please. Okay. See you on Wednesday for our next dinner. Bye bye. Okay, so I'm running very late. Um and I think this is the best shot to get me there in time. So yeah. This is it. Okay, so two days after, we still have one more dinner. Um, and that was the dinner that Miss B Hypey bought for Mick and I as my birthday gift. So this restaurant is actually a DC-inspired restaurant. The entrance is disguised as a library. And I wish I got to take a video of the moment the bookshelf opened, revealing the secret lair. The funny thing is, like, when I was looking for places to book my OG birthday dinner, this was actually the other option that I had. It was just really cool that it was, you know, coincidentally peace gift. We have the main restaurant, which I wish we could explore more. But for this visit, we did the immersive, you know, dining experience. I'm gonna look deep into his eyes. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I just put it in here. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, Nick, I knew it. I thought about it. <laughs> We're gonna get different drinks. These are caramel meringues, which have been dehydrated by our chefs overnight to give you that signature popcorn crunch. And we cool it down in liquid nitrogen, which reaches around about minus 180 degrees Celsius. Now the cold temperature of these, reacting with the warmer temperature of your mouth, will create this dragon's breath effect. Okay, you ready? <laughs> oh, and it didn't blow out. What? Left hand side. Yeah. Light. Uh, I'll be nice and quiet while she speaks to you. Welcome, esteemed guests, to the historic Monarch Theatre, the jewel in the crown on Gotham City. To unlock it, gain its contents, and earn your first course. So, good luck. 
Don't panic, no real work here on the wall. But it brings us on to our first chapter. Now, riddles are one of the oldest games in history. We deliberately wrong footed by some very clever work play. We'll steer towards an alternate solution. After all, who doesn't love a good riddle? So, I'd like you to riddle me this. Yeah, what yeah. tastes better than it smells? Allow me to apologise for this weather, as it's raining here in Gotham City. But where some of you may see absolutely dismal rain, our next villain saw opportunity. The tool that he used was greed. Now, does anybody know who is the greediest person here in Gotham City? Correct. Yes, we're talking about the penguin. Now, I don't think you want to be sitting in the rain for the rest of your night, do you? No. no. Uh, try and exchange this banknote with the penguin then. <laughs> okay, so that's not rain, that's good. Maybe it's still raining, I apologise, but it's a better kind of rain, it's raining gold. <laughs> right. It's time for you to open up your envelopes. Ooh. Go ahead, open up your envelopes. <laughs> Can I have one? Yeah, of course. It's one each. Yeah, inside, we'll find some Gotham City bank notes. There's one per person. No. <laughs> you channel your mind to read. In your mind, say, I am not greedy. I am I'm not, not greedy. greedy. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Oh! Oh! So we exchange with the penguin. That is also a souvenir from our Sierra Park. Oh. It's also a clue as to who's behind this villainous first half. <laughs> I don't care, I'm eating it for the gold. This is where I introduce you to a man called Dr. Jonathan Crane, a psychiatrist at Arkham Asylum, meant he had plenty of test subjects. And with these test subjects, he put them under immense fear treatment to see what they could withstand, what they'd end up doing. And in doing so, he created his very own signature brand of fear oh. gas, which is currently being pumped into the room. Oh my god. And with this fear gas, he used it to Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Now, oh, in the nice. moment, the main seat in a week's way of your drink plans here. She was a psychiatrist who was stationed at Arkham Asylum. There, she was assigned to the clown prince of crime himself. These syringes for your next course, they're not some kind of edible shot, they are slightly warm to the touch. I was wondering if you'd like to take a dive inside the Joker's mind. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, the rest of you, you've got no choice anyways. <laughs> now, one thing about padded cells, once people have spent a very long period of time in them, they feel like the room starts moving. <laughs> Okay. 
you. Now it is time for our interval. Like I said, okay. at the beginning, we do need this table back just to be done. Oh, Mick, now your outfit perfectly fits in this. Oh, my God. So you can pick it up in your fingers and have it in one or two bites. Mick, you can have this. Sadly, it's a French biscuit. Recognize the pods that sit atop these floating yeah. trays. Where he was, it's because of these. Yeah. You can fly high into the very heavens themselves. Whoa. 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 Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're not afraid of heights, because for our final course here at Launch Theatre, you're going to see the way Superman does, floating high above Earth's atmosphere. Now, in these pods, we have a Ice cream. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Go. Yeah, we go ahead. Right yeah, yeah. I'm just scared of my fall. For our grand finale, we're going to fly through space, back to Britain. Sit tight and enjoy. Oh my god. Thank you very much for dining 
with us this evening here at the Monarch Theatre. You've been an absolute pleasure. Now we do have a few more little surprises for you. We have some chocolates, which are hazelnut caramel and black carpet. There's one per person. We have the menu and these QR codes around the tables here. But more importantly, we have one of our chefs, Alan, if you have any questions about the menu that you had today. Thank you very much and have a good evening.